At the end of the day here, what are we really all trying to do in the credit card game? Assuming we have smart financial habits and are using credit cards to our advantage, what we're trying to do is profit off of these credit cards we get from our lenders. Now, of course, that's great. And that's something I'm a huge fan of and talk a lot about here on my channel. But there's a whole other side to the banking industry that we can also profit on if we're smart about it. Now, what is that you may ask? Well, it's the bank account bonus hunting game. And to be fair, I'm not as well versed on the bank account bonus side of the game as I am the credit card game. And instead of y'all getting to hear about these bonuses from me, I decided I might as well bring in RJ from RJ Financial to, to explain it from more of an expert level for y'all. So RJ, thank you for coming on today. Welcome in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Internet for having me again. I mean, twice. I never get invited anywhere at all. And I've been invited back twice by popular demand, I hear. I, I don't think yeah. Ben Hedges was invited back by popular demand. So I'm taking that as a win. <laughs> yeah, I think you still have the most like common. <laughs> I'll take video. it. Glad. Anytime I can talk about this stuff, I'm glad to be. I'd be talking about it to myself, so I'm talking about it to people, so it's great. Right. Yeah. I guess to give some everybody a little bit of a backstory about why I'm bringing you on for this, bank account bonus hunting is something that I've kind of dipped my toes in a little bit through your help and your channel's help. Also, I should mention right off the bat that RJ does have a second channel called Run on the Bank, where he goes really in depth in all these topics, and you get to learn more about it, some easy ones for you to get started with and stuff like that. But yeah, so I got introduced to it from you, and I started to kind of dip my toes into it. But at this point, I feel like it's not just something that should be reserved you know for me to just keep learning from you i wanted to bring you in to talk to everybody about it because i think it's something that even people that are really into the credit card game can really enjoy because it's at the end of the day it's free money right and that's kind of what we're all here for so i know one thing that you always have said every time i've asked you the question on a q a or in our interview is that you do actually prefer bank account bonuses over credit card welcome bonuses if you had to choose between the two so i thought what better way to start than by asking you why that's the case and just hearing a little bit more of your insight about bonuses in general yeah absolutely well that's why we call the second channel run on the bank one person is not a run but the internet makes a run right most people so uh you know bank promotions if you're familiar with credit cards and you're going to be right at home right banks they need ways to get people in the door because very few people wake up and like you know what i want to do go to the bank today doesn't happen often but if you put a giant sticker up here two three four five hundred dollars well now you've got my attention right so bank accounts uh, they go hand in hand with credit cards but they're much easier to hit for a few different reasons. And we're going to get into one example. So if you stay tuned to the end of this, we're going to have an example for you. So you can get started right away. But bank accounts, they're much easier to churn, first of all. So again, it's a word from the credit card space, but it really just means the ability to open and close an account. That's based on, you know, being a quote, new customer. We'll talk about that in our example. But you know, if you're talking about a Citibank, for example, you can be a new customer of City Checking every 180 days. So twice a year, basically, you know, by, it ends up being once a year by the time you've done the requirements and everything versus, you know, freedom cards or Amex's once per lifetime rules, right? Like once you're done, you're done. It's a little bit harder. There's no hard pulls. Very rarely are there hard pulls. If you're doing a credit union or something, there could potentially be, but it's very rare. So you don't have to worry about managing your hard pulls if you're somebody like that. And you don't have to spend money to do these. The most money you'll have to spend on occasion is use the debit card a handful of times. And there's ways to easily do that as well. So if you combine all of those, they're actually much easier. You can do them in a faster clip and they pay out without you having to spend much. So it's it's much more profitable for us who aren't running like our own ad agencies and just have a ton of spend on hand. Right. Yeah. I think a lot of people, especially me, whenever I first got started, was kind of skeptical of how you could churn so many of them because in the credit card game, you can't just be applying for a ton of credit cards and just close Closing them right away and doing that that whole system but with bank accounts it seems like you can which i think is really interesting and opens up the doors like you said to hitting really easy bonuses that you don't actually really need to be spending money on it's just kind of you know moving your money around in a smart way basically yeah absolutely they work you know one of two ways usually your personal checking account bonuses because it covers all deposit accounts so there are checking there are savings there's money markets there's brokerages right we're gonna stick to checking account today but again it's a personal product so usually they're looking for a direct deposit which is usually something from like your employer, payroll, social security, government benefits, something like that, which, you know, I'm not pretty enough to not have to work. So I'm here and I love you, but if I was prettier, I wouldn't be here. So we, we all got to work and so your direct deposit needs to go somewhere. And so that's money that you've already worked for, put in the hours doing whatever it is you do. So simply to redirect your direct deposit and get a little bit extra money is very helpful. The other type you see is normally on the business side, which we won't get too much into business accounts today, but you know you can do those as well. The same as business credit cards is just give me your money for X amount of time and then I will give you a bonus. And then again, 
understand that the spend component is sometimes a debit card, but overall it's money that you've already had or that you already earned that just helps add on to it. If you keep doing a few of these throughout the course of the year, you know, then you really be somewhere. It adds up. Right. Yep. It makes a ton of sense. I think it's a great time to go ahead and dive into the this context behind it, get into that example. And I think today I just want to be your student and, you know, act as if I'm a viewer. So I just love you to take it away and kind of teach us what, what we can in a short amount of time here. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, sir. We're going to get you to do your first one. So I'm going to talk for a little bit. Then as Spencer said, we've got an actual example for you guys here. But yeah, we covered why banks do this, the same as credit cards. Um, but there's a few questions. Is it legal? Yes, it's 100% legal. We're going to go through the terms and conditions that are written by the bank's internal legal team, vetted by them. I've worked in banking for 10 years. And I can tell you, I've sat in these rooms. These things are vetted. And you can do this. Uh, we're going by their terms and conditions because that's that's the main thing that we're going to focus on. Those tiny, the tiny print at the bottom of every single offer page that we have, that's where we want to live because that tells us the how to take the bank's money and make it our money. So as we're going to illustrate here in just a second, there's a few things that you want to know, pull from the terms and conditions. You want to know the offer. Why am I here? What do I need to do? And what do I get? Right? That's, that's what we all want to know. You need to know the requirements. What do I have to do to do to get the money? Right? There's always some requirements. They Sometimes they actually do give it to you just for signing up, but it, it's rare. Am I eligible for this offer? Um, some offers are state specific. Not every bank has a national banking charter. Chase is a national bank. Huntington Bank is regional. Right? So you just want to make sure I'm eligible. When's the last time I've opened or closed this account? That's where all this stuff is going to live. Another important one is the fee. Are there any fees on this account? We know fee-free checking accounts are very popular and a lot of them don't have fees, but it's important to know that because they'll tell you, you can figure out how to avoid the fees and things like that. And then lastly, when can I close the account? A lot of these have rules that, you know, you should keep the account open for 90 days, 180 days, what have you, that plays along with the fees as well. Then closing it is important because that's where the churning piece comes into play. So that's the things that we really want to know. I'm going to tell you, yes, there are other things that you get into it, but like if nothing else, if you started with this. The goal of this is that you would be feel comfortable coming out of this video to be able to go to my website, of course, but there are others like the doctor of credit and, and go there and do one of these. So I'm going to flip over here to a screen share, possibly. No, we'll do it that way. The one we're going to take a look at is Chime. So this is ProfitableContent.com. This one's mine. Again, you can go to any of them. There are many. I frequent other websites as well. There'll be a link to this and like a starter tool set for you. But we're going to search by Chime, see there's me you can never see too much of me um all right so here we go chime 100 checking bonus right so this is kind of what we want to break it down to right so when i go through on run on the bank and do the videos this is the information that i'm pulling out of the terms and conditions so that you don't have to but again there's gonna be tons of offers and i want you to know how to do this yourself so the real question is like if you want to do if you just want to use this and trust me that's fine but if you wanted to use this yourself do this yourself how could we do that so Jeremy is a channel member. All these might not have my name on it, but uh, this is still a safe link. So when we come here to Chime's landing page, and feel free to interrupt at any time. I, yeah. I, I'm just looking at this page. I can't actually see it, but it is your show. So I don't want to talk all yeah, no over problem. you. So we've got this Chime. So we write, they, they make this part very easy, right? Earn $100 after you receive a direct deposit of $200 or more within 45 days. So that's the reason I always recommend we start with Chime because some banks don't make it this obvious, right? We just want to comfortable with this but see they've just told us the fun part right they haven't told us everything else we don't know if we're eligible we don't know if there are any fees or anything like that so sometimes these little numbers are hyperlinked and they'll take you down to the bottom um, in this case they're not but along the way sometimes we can see the answer right we can see they're saying no monthly fees okay so we can check that one off the list uh, there are some other benefits I never really get into these because I'm really only here for the money but if you're looking for a new bank account again you could take these in consideration as well so we're scroll down a ways and keep going see this this is I just bury it all the way down here yeah. now don't be afraid to say look i'm old and i need to zoom in quite a ways okay <laughs> because they make it small on purpose don't be afraid to zoom in so now what we want to do we're going to do you know an expedited version of this because no one really wants to be able to watch someone read terms and conditions but you can come down here say okay terms and conditions you can also see this number
number one corresponds to that number one we saw all the way at the top. Again, sometimes these are hyperlinked and it takes you right to it. This one, not the case. So if we were to stick with some language here, uh, they do help us out. So in order for the referring Shine member, so the current Shine member, that would be me or Jeremy in this case, we're borrowing this link. So this applies to the referring person. So now we would really want to skip down to, we don't care about spot me. We really want to be in, okay, so refer to open a new account. The dates are wrong on this one. I don't know why they don't update it. I promise you it's still going and active, but you do want to know the dates for eligibility. Is this offer still going? So aside from this one, it is still going. So we've got, okay, what do you need to do? Open a new account using the referrer's unique referral link. That's this landing page that we're on. Um, referred, received in a new account qualifying direct deposit within 45 calendar days. So they told us that up there. Uh, you do need to actually reactivate the physical Chime debit card uh, within 14 days, which is important because they didn't tell us that up there. Right. And a lot of times I don't activate these because there's not really a reason to unless there's debit card purchases. So that's like an important term right there. And then the last one really, what is a qualifying direct deposit? So of course it has to be $200 or more. Automated clearinghouse just means ACH, as we kind of touched on, comes from employer payroll. They're including gig economy stuff, right? But really what they're trying to say here is bank transfers, virtual deposits, peer to peers like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, that stuff's not supposed to work. Now, now, if you want to get past 101, there's usually ways around this. That's out of the scope of today's video, right? right. So that, that's really the important stuff. We've covered there's no fee. We know the offer. We know there's no fees. We saw the requirements of actually activating the debit card, which we normally don't have. Now, I do know this one is nationwide. They usually only specify it if it's not, like if they're in specific states, like a, a Truist Bank or a, a Flagstar. But these neo fintech banks are usually nationwide because they partner with with real banks on the back end, right? We know how that stuff works. So again, there's a lot of stuff in here. You could definitely read more of this. Uh, they make it difficult because this is all just crammed together, not in a paragraph, so to speak, or like a you know a format that people would like it in. But that's the gist of it, of the things that you want to pull out. So if we flip back to here, again, we're just really quick. We got that part. See, I should actually add activate the debit card on here. It's nationwide, new customers only. We saw that because we didn't see any language about you can churn it. Well, they, they don't use the word churn but they would have said to qualify, you can't have had an account in the last X amount of days. They did tell us there were no fees and you can close this one whenever you want. There is a referral program, so you might want to keep it open since it's a once per lifetime, but we're good to go. So I'll pause there because that was a lot, but that's kind of a nutshell how we break down terms and conditions. Yeah, I think that's super valuable. The biggest thing that I take away too is like, okay, now even if you are going for a bank account bonus that isn't on like your website or a doctor of credit where the terms are already laid out for you, you still at least now know kind of what to go look for and you can use y'all's websites as kind of like a guideline like hey what like buzzword should i be looking for i think that's a big thing for me that you get a little bit uncomfortable when you start looking down at the terms and conditions but whenever you lay it out like that simply and you're just like hey, look i need to pull out these you know five things that's it makes it really simple and again makes you realize that it's really not that hard to do even without like a direct step-by-step -step guide. But I think it's nice to obviously have those. Yeah, you know, my opinion, banks, they want their customers to both fear and respect them, right? That's why they switched to legal leaves down below. But once you know what you're looking for, it's fairly easy on occasion. You know, there are potentially different ways to interpret some things. That's where these sites come in handy with, you know, crowdsource data of folks who, who are doing things like this. But again, that's why we stick to Chime. It's one that I've I've had a ton of people do. So if you start out your Chime, nothing else, you can see how it works and see that, oh, they do actually pay, right? right. Which is another big thing. People are like, so this is really going to work? It is going to work. Um, If we're good on that, I just want to leave people with a few other things just to consider if you're going to do this. So we're not going to uh, get too far into it. But the main thing is, I say velocity. This is a lot of credit cards, right? We sign, want to sign up for a bunch of credit cards, especially once you learn about credit cards. Honestly, I would say start with this one, or there's going to be a few down below in the description uh, that you guys can look through, pick one or two, try those, get a feel for it, and how many you can realistically do. How much attention and time do you want to put into it? It doesn't take much. Um, I generally tell people because you're moving around your direct deposit, you could check in on it when you get paid, right? If you've got two or three bonuses going, so you're talking about twice a month for most of us, you know, check in on it, see where you need to move 
one around you. And it's really not that given, you know, what you're getting. The other one is opportunity cost. These direct deposit ones almost always make sense because your paycheck has to go somewhere. I always like to have my paycheck going to a new account. But if you get into some of the savings bonuses, for example, they all used to make sense because interest rates were so low that it was fine. And then there's also, there's obviously a bunch of other products out there. Every so often I'll get a comment. So I'm like, you can make so much more doing spread call options. Like, well, yeah, this isn't for you then, right? Like this is yeah. for me. I would compare it to your opportunity cost of doing other things. Should you be taking 6,500 bucks, you know, putting it in a bonus or should you make sure you put that into your IRA or Roth IRA first? You should do that first, right? So just keep that in mind. And then check systems is the other one. Uh, check systems is a thing that no one really knows about until you know about it. It's almost like your credit report for deposit accounts. In some banks, as you go, they, they pull checks and they, they see that you've opened a lot of accounts and that can make them nervous. I don't care in the least bit, but I just mention it so they know about it up front and then they can look into it a little bit further. Again, we've got videos on all this stuff, uh, but no one told me until I started getting denial letters. Uh, so I mentioned it now, but those are the three things I would say to consider. And as far as how to get started again, I mean, I always give the doctor credit a ton of props because he was the original guy. And most of us are basing our stuff off of him. Uh, we have the website as well. Obviously he's, he's been so nice to plug all my stuff, but we're also going to include, well, I have a bank account bonus tracker yep. where it's, it's just a spreadsheet where you can kind of log in the key information from each. And if you choose to do this a lot, then year over year it really comes in handy because you can look back and say, well, when's the last time I closed City and things like right. that. So we've got some parting gifts for you. It's all free down below. Of course, you know where to find me. Ask me any questions you need, email, website, channels, what have you. I answer it all. But uh, so do you, the real question is, do you feel confident now? Will you open this now? Like that's the real question. If you, if you open it, then I've done my job. If you don't, then I, I failed. Right. Like I said before, for me personally, that's how I got started with a few of these like FinTech banks that are really easy to just get started with. And they literally would basically pay out pretty immediately. And then you just, you know, cash out. You could close the account if you want or leave it open for referrals. But it is very simple to do. I think a good parting thing to, to give to people is maybe to get them a little bit more hyped up and just have a better understanding of how many they could do or just have you you maybe tell me real quick how many you did in say last year 2022 and how much money you could theoretically make from it if you just keep moving that direct deposit around well i wasn't gonna brag we'll call it my resume right so people know that i'm serious so in 2021 i must give credit to the original person john he runs bank account bonus central youtube channel he called me one day forgot in contact for a different video entirely and all he would do was talk about bank account churning and i knew it existed but i didn't really mess with it too much and then so he really got me into it in 21 is the first year i kept track of it uh, consistently and that was 69 accounts and all in eleven thousand five hundred thirty five dollars yes this is taxable by the way but it's still free money you really didn't have to do that much to it 2022 a tick under 12,000 51 accounts and then right now if everything were to pay you're looking at 5,750 but I mean some of these are just kind of like on the radar that I've just opened and need to do so but this is the spreadsheet of how we keep track of it and I just build out year over year and I can go back and see okay when did I close this when did I open that and this highlights everything who is the bank what's my status the product because that does matter how much of course when you opened it again i pull those requirements off here and just color code keep an eye on it completed paid out date closed date and if there are any churning rules so that's the spreadsheet we have it's again it's free you can edit it i've seen a lot of people take it take it their own direction entirely which is totally fine whatever right. you need but that helps me stay on track as well so there's a ton of money to be had uh, you should definitely do both sides of it when credit cards are slow you've got bank bonuses when the one's slow you've got the other one they go hand in hand so yep. it's fun time exactly yeah i highly recommend that anybody watching go and just try to get started with one of these chimes an easy one just get started with one that you can it'll it'll excite you i'm you know almost promise you that's gonna happen because it's really easy to make money this way and it's just if you have the extra time to just move that direct deposit around it's kind of a no-brainer so we've all got the time as a you gotta you know how do you how do you value your time when you think about it plus once you get the reps down you'll know you'll know what you're doing right like my time is worth a hundred bucks whatever that's how i look at it is your time worth this and the answer is usually yes so gotcha it's a good way to think about it. But yeah, like I said, I really appreciate you coming on and explaining this to us. I'll be linking everything that you mentioned, all the different tools and the starter pack for other bonuses that people can get started with. That'll all be down below. And RJ Second Channel, of course, y'all go check that out. But yeah, absolutely. I'll hang out in the comments too when this goes live to answer any follow-up questions that folks may have. Uh, you know, that's how we make money as a community. So we're here to answer questions, get people feel comfortable with this. And I'm happy to be here to talk about this anytime. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you. If y'all enjoyed getting to hear from RJ today, then you definitely enjoy 
our conversation we had in my creator conversations playlist that you can watch right here because not only do we talk bank account bonuses we talk a lot more about credit cards as well so hopefully there's a little bit of something for everybody as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel i'll catch you guys next time